Welcome to another episode in BuzzFeed's physics series. Today, we'll be talking about circuits. Really? Well, personally, I love the elephants' costumes and the freaks that do their portions of the show. No, not circus. Circuits. Shoot, I know nothing about those. I'll tell you all you need to know about series and parallel circuits. Do you think you could explain current flow in a series? Of course. In a series circuit, two resistors will have the same current flow because there is only one path for the current to flow through. To find the equivalent resistance of what things are in a series are, you just add all of the resistors together. Oh, that makes sense. How about a series circuit's voltage? Well, we now know that in a series circuit, the flow is the same because they all have I going through it. This means the voltage has to split up for this to occur. The more resistance something has in a series, the more volts it has because if you have more resistance, then you need more of the push to get the same flow. With this in mind, we can conclude that in a series circuit, the highest resistance will have the highest voltage. Okay, so you're saying that in a series, the amps, or I, or current is the same, but the voltage drop or use is different. I'm starting to get it. Should I explain the current flow and voltage in a parallel circuit as well? Yes, please. Well, in a, par in a parallel circuit, two paths are parallel if, the sh if they share junctions, in other words, where a current splits. Be careful to remember that if each pass has one resistor, the pass and resistors are parallel. If one path has two resistors, then you have to combine them into one before you can say it's parallel to another path. Combining the resistances is much more difficult for parallel circuits than series circuits. To find the equivalent resistance, <clears throat> you take one over the total resistance and set equal to one over the resistance of each branch, then continue to add the one over fraction for each branch together. Then you can solve for the resistance with the equation using mathematics. Oh, so in a parallel circuit, the flow is different, meaning that the amps are split up, making the voltage actually stay the same for every branch? Exactly. I don't really understand how the overall resistance compares to the individual resistances in series and parallel circuits. In a series, the total resistance is greater than all individual resistances combined because the individual resistors are simply added up to make the total greater, no matter what their individual value is. However, in a parallel circuit, the overall resistance will be less than the lowest ohm's resistor. This is because parallel resistors divide the total current among each other, and when calculating the total resistance, you end up taking the inverses of the resistors to equal the sum, a much smaller amount in comparison. Then how does changing the resistance affect things? I'm glad you asked. When you increase or decrease the resistance in a series, it results in the current being less or more depending on if resistance was increased or decreased because you are altering the values of Ohm's law, B equals I times R. The voltage of an individual resistor will change as well in a series because voltage is not constant like current is in a series circuit. For a parallel circuit, the voltage won't change at all and the current will increase or decrease for a lower or higher total. They will also be the same in every individual resistor because they are divided among each other and we have learned before that in a parallel circuit, the voltage is always constant. I know I'm probably getting annoying now, but I have one more question. What happens when you add or take away a resistor? If you take away a resistor in a series, it will end the circuit because there is only one path now. With a break, the current is unable to flow through the entire series. Adding a resistor will increase the resistance overall. For a parallel circuit, the circuit will not break because there are other paths for a current to flow through. Instead, it will decrease the total resistance. With the resistor added, there will be a new pathway for the current and will only increase the total resistance. Okay, now I understand series and parallel circuits. Ready to shoot? And that's a wrap.